Right guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. So I'm just taking a couple of tons of wheat seed up to the field. Today's plan is to carry on drilling some winter wheat. So Ray is somewhere in this field on my left with the TM and the power harrow getting this, uh, this field finished here. I'm going up around the corner to what we call the top 30 acre and that's where I'll be working this morning. And then when he's finished in this field, this is where I'll be going next with the drill. And for those wondering about the TM, and the issue we had with the brakes and the brake fluid, I'm happy to say, I think, fingers crossed, we're, uh, we're out of the woods. It's gonna be all right. Right, back to the yard. Let's get the tractor and drill ready to go. My like dad's got the fast track out. of wheat called Firefly and I'm drilling this at a rate of 180 kilos a hectare which is just over 70 kilos an acre for those of you who are still in Imperial so yeah back in the John Deere again today and I've got dad over in the, uh, the next door field going over what I drilled yesterday with the, uh, the harrows and he's in the fast track Fast Track has um, got a new job this season. It's normally just uh, for spraying now the Fast Track, but it's uh, out doing a bit of a bit of other work. And like I said, we got Ray. He's in the field that I'm going to be going into next, getting a bit of power hiring finished. I'm hoping it'll work out time-wise. Obviously, drilling is a bit quicker than power hiring. He's four meters wide. He's going about five and a half k. He's going quite slow to get a bit of groundwork down. I'm going, could actually be a bit quicker. I'm going about eight and a half K with six meters. So I might catch up with him. I think we might have timed it about right where he'll just be finishing that field when I want to go in there. But uh, I think I might just be a little bit ahead of him. But yeah, it's going pretty well this week so far. Fingers crossed we've had no real issues everything's been running smoothly the drill's going well the tractor's going well ray and dad have been getting on well as well i mean if there is a bit of a, uh, a wait between me getting into the next field i'll go and catch up with dad see what he's up to see how he's getting on Trying to figure out a way on the uh, the computer, the drill computer, how to adjust the uh, alarm for uh, low level, low seed level. It beeps at you when it's running low, but it seems to not give you much time. It used to uh, used to be different. I swear it did. It sort of beeps at you, and literally within I don't know two minutes, you've used it up. Could have sworn. 
it used to um, give you a bit more warning than that, as if it's uh, been set a bit differently. So, trying to suss that out. I'm sure I'll figure it out. So a bit of an update with the TM, the New Holland. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we're pretty sure that it's okay now. For those of you who aren't sure what I'm on about, I'll put a link somewhere to a video we did last week and the mistake that was made. Basically, we put the wrong brake fluid, we put the wrong oil in when we went to top up the brake fluid. We put DOT4 oil in instead of the proper New Holland, you know, mineral-based oil. And um, yeah, we were worried that it had got into the axle, the wrong oil had got into the axle and damaged some seals. Anyway, long story short, we've had the brake pipes off, the, uh, the, the brake pipes that are just above the axle. We've had those off, uh, Ray did that last week, he replaced those, and he's pretty convinced that none of the dot four, none of the wrong oil got down into the axle, because if it had, it could have done a bit of damage, which would have meant splitting the axle, which would have been, a bit of a job, but he's pretty convinced everything's okay and that uh, none of the wrong oil got down there. So that's pretty much where we are now. Me and Dad pumped through from the master cylinder to the top of the axle through that brake line there. We pumped any uh, any oil in there out, topped it up with the correct oil, and we were pretty happy that up to uh, that point above the axle it was fine. And now we've had Ray, who knows a bit more than me and Dad. Now we've had him have a look at it and change those other pipes. He's, uh, like I said, he's convinced everything's okay. If there was a bit of a problem there, the TM would have been out of action and we would have missed that. It's uh, definitely proven to be a good bit of kit to have around, especially at the moment with all this field work. Everybody's uh, out in the field today again, keeping the wheels turning. We've got green, blue and yellow today. I want to take a minute to do a shout out to my mum who is awesome look what she's brought me she has brought me pizza i got tractor pizza all right well i suppose i better put on my flashing light that way ray will know that i'm having my lunch in fact i don't know if you can see but he has got his lights on so he's stopping for his lunch i've got auto steer though so i'm going to keep going while i eat Bit dusty. Yeah, it's a bit dusty. Eh? It's a little bit rough on this bit. Yeah, it? but it's all right. You're going on all right. Yeah, really well. So yeah, yeah I can see a mark now. So I had to get my eye in. It was a bit of a job to see it. You got the light bar in there. I thought about getting it actually. Yeah. Won't look that straight. No. <laughs> Have you been drinking again, Dad? <laughs> yeah, I've got the bottles. They all fall out. So <laughs> do you want to come for a ride now? Or? Yeah, I'll come for a quick ride okay. now. Yeah. It's quite a. Uh, Small in this cab, isn't it? It's wide. And so I'm on the, I'm I can on... expand that way. But <laughs> you can't when grow you taller. Bang, you bang your head. But it's actually not too bad. But this spare seat is very low down. You bang your head. This field was uh, a few fields years and years ago. 
It used to be five fields. Six, didn't it? Six fields. Yeah. Still is a little bit rough, but it's doing a really good job. Uh, the only thing is, um, I've managed to now get the preset sorted on oh, the link arms. Yeah. Sort of out. There's a sort of it's quite easy really. Once you know how it's easy, if you don't know it can I mean, it's giving me something to do while I'm going along. <laughs> <laughs> so I've done that, but uh, draft control is a bit if it did not non existent. Draft control in every single tractor is different. different. Yeah. yeah. No tractor's the same. It's always been different. This is the Bosch system, isn't it? I thought they made drills to be honest. <laughs> drills and uh, linkage washing system machines. and washing machines. Yeah, it's a washing machine computer in there. Can you wash your clothes in here at the same time? Yeah, I can see Ray, I can see Ray. <laughs> Ray's about one and a half, two hours behind schedule. Not mm, the top. No, I think about one hour. I've still got those little tiny bits to do. Oh look, no, he's just gone in, he's just gone into the next Oh, room. he's gone in, yeah, it's fine. Okay, I can go back. Uh, can go back and do some work now. Yeah. I'll go back and do some work, yeah. Yeah, just gone in here. Oh, come on fast track, you can do it. It doesn't like hills, does it, this tractor? I've got another gear to go down. I've got split it anyway. How's your aircon in this? Well, it's, it's okay, it's not brilliant. It's never been the best, has no, it? It's, it's actually okay. It's just about okay, isn't it? Yeah. It's definitely chilled air. It's fine. So you've got your clothes on a cycle, you've had your lunch. <laughs> I've had my lunch. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're nearly done. I'm on the quick, uh, quick spin, I think. Quick spin. Can yeah. you, uh, it's got a tumble dryer setting on it. I've got, I don't know, it's too steamy in here. Yeah. Rub that on. <laughs> quite a sandy bit here, isn't it? Quite a, quite a sandy. Well, this bit of land's a bit kinder than it is Just at that end. Yeah. yeah. We had to give that extra sort of work, didn't we? Like we all do in this, always do in this field. This bit, I think we've had out three times, trying to drive at least once. <laughs> it's a particularly bad bit here. <laughs> but we'll roll it into shape and it'll be fine. Yeah. Are those sort of. Um, more modern rolls like we've got, although well, they're going on a bit down. They're not just like a Cambridge roll either, they've got the cruncher, crumbler, cruncher thing. It's all like a you know, twisting action, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that, does, that does a lot of good as well. Oh, a huge amount of things. Are you lifting up at the ends? Yes. I've got, I've got two five, I think. So I'll, I'll put you off. Yeah, I'm going to head back, I think. Yeah, okay, see you later. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. See you later. Have fun.